Mwilumba, identified as being in the top 10 places to live in Australia, based on natural beauty, property values, welcoming locals and good infrastructure. Mwilumba is located in the centre of the stunning Tweed Valley on the far north coast of New South Wales. Yes, stage one today for the women in the NRS. Uh, 85 kilometres starting in Mwilumba and returning back to Mwilumba today. Annalisa Hull will be one to watch today too. Fresh back from injury after uh, a fall in Tasmania. Exciting young rider, big promising future. Really relaxed recovery, got three days nice and easy up on the trainer and on the road and it was just a nice rest. Go! Ruth Corsett is leading the series from the Holden race team. Uh, she's closely followed by Tessa Fabry from the VIS and also in third place Lizzie Williams from the Specialised team. Today we'd like to have a bit more of an impact overall as a team um, and go for a number of jerseys rather than just the GC. I don't think the climbs are long enough for Ruth to get away. Um, so the top climbers I think we can uh, keep, keep that in hold. Yeah, it was very nerve-wracking at the beginning with such a large bunch. We're all fighting for position, but we finally got into the climbs and started working up the pace. The decisive fact today proved for the women's race the descent. The glory go to the brave and the girls who took risks on the descents, that was our podium this afternoon. The descent was absolutely terrifying for me considering my crash a couple of weeks back. I just couldn't believe how scared I was going down there and I just did my best to stay with the group. And I probably overcooked a couple of corners and um, my back wheel went out a couple of times so I had to back off a few times. It was a great ride, it was so tough. Uh, that last 10 kilometres I was absolutely burning the whole way home. A good result for Lizzie Williams to, to get her confidence, a good start and also young Annalisa Hull. She turned 17 yesterday, uh, she's shaken off the crash, she's got spring back in her pedal stroke and great to see her really be involved in the breakaway today and, uh, and get, get, her, get amongst the result. Obviously a stage win is fantastic but it's the first, um, first race of the tour and that's not where it's won. We're going for the, the big prize, the yellow jersey. Now for the men, an exciting day yesterday for the Avanti race team. One, two, three on the podium up Mount Warning, uh, closely followed by Tim Rowe, also their sprinter Scott Law in green today. Uh, so a, a very successful day for them on day one. They will be watched by budget. They do two laps around this uh, picturesque Mwoolambar circuit. It's 129k today. It's, it's pretty lumpy. The first... 80 of it isn't too bad, but with about 25k to go, there is a serious set of hills that's going to split the field. Uh, today's an interesting sort of day. It's it's not uh, flat and it's not sort of extremely hilly, so well, I think it's going to come down to a sprint. All the pressure is going to be in Avanti, so hopefully it's a hard day out for them. And if we can see any weakness, we're going to take a shot at it. When the boys left under sunny conditions here in Mwoolambar this morning, they didn't have those uh, nice conditions all day. They rode through storms and showers throughout the day, making some of the descents very tricky. Raining so hard, you could only see like 10 metres up the road. The brakes were going. You're going around windy sections with moss. It was, it was hectic. We just tried to control it as best we could on the descents and just wanted to, everyone to make it to tomorrow. With testing weather conditions out there and 74 kilometres into the race, the significant break of the day was headed up by Josh Berry, James Hepburn, Daniel Barry and Chris Jory and that stayed away for quite a while. Today almost got out of control with a couple of those bigger breaks, just like getting up the road and putting us under a little bit of pressure. It was just attack after attack after attack. I don't reckon I've gone that deep ever. <laughs> after that main break stayed away, it splintered and dwindled in numbers but they held on right until the 10 kilometre to go mark and then the main group started to get organised and really swallowed them up. Pretty much once we dropped back down into the cane fields, uh, even if they'd had a three minute gap, because the roads are so long and straight, you'd be able to see them. So um, from there, it was the bunch was so motivated to get them. <laughs> In the end, it came down to a bunch finish and uh, Jesse Kerrison, very quick finisher indeed. <laughs> Thank you.
Congratulations, Marco Bryan.